Hello, class. Welcome to the lesson of new energy vehicle motor and control system maintenance. We have learned that compared to traditional fuel cars, the power source for new energy vehicles comes from the electric motor, and the motor control system is one of the three core compounds of an electric car. It is the main executive mechanism for vehicle operation, and its characteristics determine the main performance indicators of the vehicle, directly affecting power performance, fuel efficiency, and driving experience. Therefore, the motor control system is a critical component of an electric vehicle. Today, a pure electric car was sent to the workshop. And cannot start. The supervisor has preliminarily determined that it is due to a fault in the motor controller, and you need to complete the drive motor controller assembly. Next, let's learn about the drive motor controller. The key points we need to grasp in this lesson are: first, what is the structure and function of a motor controller? Second. The installation position of the drive motor controller. To learn about the motor drive controller, first we need to understand what the function of the drive motor controller is. The main function of the motor controller is to convert DC power to controllable AC power. As the control center of the drive motor system, there is one more critical function: is to communicate, protect. And detect status and faults, ensuring the safety and reliability of the drive motor system and the entire vehicle. There are currently two types of drive motor management modules used in pure electric cars. One refers to the MCU that controls the drive motor, and the other is a more integrated control system, known as the motor driver management system. Which includes the functions of MCU and DC DC converter, was called PUC. A DC DC converter is a voltage transformer that converts DC to another DC voltage, convert the electrical energy generated by the power battery or inverter into 12 volt low voltage electrical energy for charging the 12 volt shortage battery. Empowering the vehicle's electrical equipment. Next, let's look at an illustration of the internal structure of a motor controller. The motor controller is a crucial component of the drive motor system, which mainly converts DC to three-phase AC power, and controls the drive motor's operation. The motor controller's outer shell is made of aluminum alloy material. With DC high voltage interface, AC high voltage interfaces, and low voltage plug-in interfaces. Through these interfaces, the motor controller can input and output high voltage power, and communicate with the vehicle's electronic system. The cooling water channel is distributed inside the shell to remove excess heat as quickly as possible. The internal parts of the motor controller mainly include the interface circuit board, daily charging capacity, the inverter, the control main board, and the sensors. The interface circuit board is installed on the motor controller cover, which facilitates the transmission of information between the internal and external parts of the motor controller. The pre-charging capacitor. Is connected to high voltage circuit, and it starts charging when the high voltage circuit is activated. When the motor is started, the drive motor stabilizes the voltage to protect the system. In addition to converting the input DC into three phase AC with adjustable voltage frequency, the inverter can also perform three phase rectification. And feed back the DC bus voltage, current IGBT module, and temperature signals collected by the sensors to the control mainboard of the motor controller. The control mainboard 
The control main board processes all the input signals, and then sends the drive motor system operation status information to the vehicle controller through the CAN 2.0 network. The motor controller contains a fault diagnosis circuit. When an abnormality is detected, it will activate an error code and send it to the vehicle controller. The error code and data will also be stored on the screen. The main components of the motor control system that we are showcasing include the drive motor (DM) and the motor controller unit (MCU). It is connected to other vehicle systems and cooling circuits through high and low voltage lines. The motor controller, also known as an intelligent power module, consists of an IGBT module as the core, supported by driver integrated circuits, main control integrated circuits, IGBT control boards, supercapacitors, discharge resistors, current sensors, and a housing water channel. The motor controller in an electric vehicle. Is a voltage type inverter, and its main functions include drive motor, charging control, discharging to the power grid, supplying power to electrical devices, and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle power supply. The IGBT module is the core component, which converts DC into controllable AC, according to different operating conditions of the motor. Next. Let's take a look at the introduction of the IGBT module. Introduction of IGBT driver module. In the motor controller, there are six IGBT switches used for controlling the sequential conduction of circuits, ultimately converting DC into controllable AC. This type of IGBT switch is called an insulated gate bipolar transistor. Which is a new type of power semiconductor device, composed of an insulated gate field effect transistor and a bipolar junction transistor. It combines the advantages of both, with large input impedance, low drive power, simple control circuit, low switch loss, fast switching speed, and high operating frequency. It has become one of the most promising power semiconductor devices currently in use. The dual transistor utilizes a PMP structured transistor with three layers of semiconductors. The middle layer is the base region, and the outer two layers are called the emitter region and the collector region. And channel enhancement mode insulated gate field. Effect transistor is constructed by using a low impurity concentration p-type semiconductor as the substrate, with two high impurity concentration n-type regions diffused on top. Each n-type region forms the source and drain, and there is an insulation layer between the drain and source. The insulation layer is covered with aluminum. As the gate electrode material, these two semiconductor components are combined to form an IGBT module. The input stage is a MOSFET, and the output stage is a PNP transistor. The M plus region is called the source region, and the electrode on it is called the source electrode. The M base region is called the drain region. And the control region of the device is the gate region. The equivalent circuit is shown in the figure. IGBT is a switch that is either on or off. The control of its on or off state depends on the voltage between the gate and the source. When a plus 12 voltage is applied between the gate and the source, the MOSFET is turned on. Resulting in a low impedance state between the collector and the positive terminal of the PMP transistor, allowing the transistor to conduct 
when no voltage or negative voltage is applied between the gate and the source, the MOSFET enters the off state. This cuts off the supply of positive current to the PMP transistor and ensures reliable turnoff of the transistor. We have just learned about the main functions and structure of motor controllers. Now let's take a look at where the motor controller is installed. Take this BYD vehicle in front of us as an example. By opening the engine compartment with a cross-section diagram, we can see the red square in the bottom right corner of the figure, which is where the motor controller is located. The vehicle controller sends various commands based on the driver's intention, and the motor controller receives signals such as motor speed, voltage, and current, and responds by adjusting the output of the drive motor in real time. It has implemented functions such as idling, moving backwards, pulling up, energy recovery, and heel assist for the entire vehicle. Today, we have learned about the structure of the drive motor controller, classified its location, and mastered its main functions, including controlling more speed, controlling motor power output, and receiving feedback signals. Through the study of this lesson, it is not difficult to find that being goal-oriented is more conducive to overcoming difficulties and completing tasks. At the same time, our study of the working principles has laid a theoretical foundation. That's all for today's lesson. Thanks for watching.